Hey, good morning. Welcome back to Rhino Fishing TV. This is the morning of my maiden voyage for my new Kusa FD. <clears throat> and there it is, still in the back of the truck. I'm going to take my time this morning and uh, just kind of methodically go through the unloading process to make sure I don't goon anything up and or especially break any of the new parts I'm not accustomed to. And when I get out on the water, I'm going to kind of just take my time and get used to it and figure out where I'm going to put things and make adjustments and figure out how to fish from it. I'm going to try to stand up in it, see how that goes. So stay tuned. Just jumped your boat. I saw that. Maybe that's good luck. <laughs> you can see I'm going to have a few growing pains. Boy, I like sitting up high. My last one sat down low, like, yeah. like my friend yeah. Mike. I ha actually, I haven't seen a, a seat that's up that high, but that, that's nice too. Yeah, man, it's much more comfortable after three or four hours than the other one. Like, back Does that give you any more um, un unsteadiness in there because it's higher? Uh, it doesn't feel like it. Yeah. And, it might not be a Alright, the drive is deployed. Let's see what she does for us. Oh, I like that. And it's noisy though. Man, there's big fish jumping everywhere. Initial impressions are it is very comfortable to sit here and fish at this in this higher position. I uh, and I really feel like I could stand up no problem, which I will try later on. I'm wondering if my old camera position back there with you guys is now too low and if I'm going to need to raise that a little bit. All right, I'm going to do it. I'm going to stand up. Might want to take the microphone off first.
thing I'm noticing is I have a tendency I'm going to have to unlearn because of the rudder system on my last kayak that was controlled with the little toe pedals on the footrests. I find myself wanting to push with my feet to correct the direction of travel instead of reaching down with my hand to control the rudder. Sure, I'll unlearn that pretty quickly. Hey, duck. I got nothing for you, buddy. You guys see my friend the duck? Mr. Mallard? I don't have anything for you. Just trying to catch fish. Fish. What do you guys think it is? I hope that's not an omen. First fish out of the new kayak is one of you guys. Crankbait. Come on. All right, um, scores one to one. Bass to pickerel. bass. Serious dinker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't be scared. Let's get a measure on you. Can you break can you break eight? Let's see. Oh you did. Oh, you made it to 10. 10. There's one. Oh, that's a nice fish. Maybe. Ah! Happened to me. Yes. There's another one. Oh, that one's even better. I'm keeping him down though. Well, he ain't that good, I'm skiing him. Oh, it's a freaking huge crappie though by St. Mary's Lake standards. Man, if I was fishing for crappie, that would, look at that dude. Get a 
picture of you on the cell phone. All right, guys, I wanted to finish this up by offering my initial thoughts on the Kusa FD. First big point is it is heavy. And getting it out of the truck and into the lake was fairly easy uh, because I was working downhill and just kind of could let gravity do the work. I just kind of had to hold up the front end and let the hill pull the thing down into the water. So that wasn't a big deal. But dealing with that boondocks landing gear, well, first of all, you, you couldn't move the kayak without some sort of cart or wheel system. It's just too heavy. You can't pick it up and carry it. Well, at least I can't. But even after you get it to the water, repositioning that landing gear one side at a time uh, is really awkward because you still kind of have to pick up the back end of the kayak to get the weight off of it and then adjust it into the up position. And you have to do one side at a time, and it seems to kind of like put the other side in a little bit of torsion and it makes that side even harder to get out uh, but I guess that's just kind of what you got to do to deal with it if you guys have dealt with the boondocks landing gear system and and changing the positions on it and you have tips on how to more easily do that uh, please let me know in the comments and the weight of that thing really comes into play when you're ready to get off the lake and load the thing back up in the truck I decided to go ahead and drag the thing back up the ramp and up the hill a little bit to my truck instead of backing my truck down the ramp to the boat. I just didn't think there was any way I was going to be able to lift that thing with the truck on the incline and get it up on my bed extender and into the truck. I may try it next time anyway. I was worried that it might take too long and I would be clobbering the boat ramp. It's very manageable on, on level ground, but the that boat ramp at St. Mary's Lake is pretty steep and I wasn't quite sure if I could deal with that or not. But I worked up quite a sweat dragging that thing up the hill to the truck. Other thoughts. I tended to over control the steering uh, and in pilot speak we call it over controlling or pilot induced oscillations but the rudder is really really sensitive you know it only takes about like that much movement with those rudder controls on either side to to get it to turn either left or right so I, I found myself kind of kind of hunting for a uh, you know a straight course on that thing every now and then but I'm sure I'll get used to that and you know my muscle memory will learn how to you know exactly position that thing to make it go where I want it to go. A whole bunch of positives. The thing was very very stable. I loved standing up in that thing. I didn't feel tippy or uncomfortable at all doing that. The only thing that I might be a little uncomfortable with is if I you know tried to rear back and do a real hard hook set. I'm not sure how that's going to feel but if it does get uncomfortable I can always just set my butt back down in that big seat. I like the speed at which it moves. It was a lot more work than I anticipated. Uh, I seem to have traded, you know, an upper body workout with my old kayak to a, a lower body workout with this kayak. And it was definitely getting my heart rate up when I was trying to, you know, move at a pretty good clip, you know, to cross the lake. So I got a few more details I have to iron out with regards to where I'm going to put all my stuff. You know, tackle management. I really haven't put much thought into the anchor in the event that I want to put the anchor out. My old kayak, I had a nice little zigzag cleat where I would just, you know, tie the line off after the anchor got on the bottom. I don't really have an equivalent for that on this yet, so I gotta think about that. I noticed that Yak Attack makes a cleat that mounts onto the you know the track system. I might get one of those. And I gotta figure out what to do about my fish finder. I didn't use it very much on the old kayak because I used a cell block on the track system and it always made the kayak list and tilt in that direction because of the weight of the battery. I'm gonna to try to figure out something where I put the battery actually in the boat with me on the center line so that it doesn't do that. And I'm probably going to try to go ahead and scupper mount the transducer and maybe I'll use one of those Lowrance scupper mount kits. Uh, they look pretty cheaply made but I saw a lot of YouTube videos where people seem to have good luck with them so I might tr give that a shot. And then I got to deal with the wire management and all of that stuff. But if I can come up with a nice placement of those fish finder components I think I'll use it a lot more. 
So those are my initial thoughts. Stay tuned and I'll do a bow to stern review of the entire boat and all of its features and my opinions on them when I get a little bit of experience under my belt. Till next time, thanks for watching Rhino Fishing TV. And if you haven't already done so, I'd like to invite you to subscribe by hitting that subscribe button. It's down there, I think. And we'll see you next time. Bye.